Hello everyone, William here from Florida in the United States and welcome back English with Uncle Billy, my video podcast. That's right, so you're driving down the road and you have 10, 12, 15 minutes till you get home, tune me in, don't tune me out, tune me in because we want to practice your listening skills if you're driving. Listen to me, pay attention to the road, but listen to me. And if you're at home, maybe getting dinner ready, sitting down relaxing with a adult beverage, you can watch me. You can have a conversation together, all right? I got you. I got gotcha. you. So here we go. This is a subject that is, can be very touchy to some people. And it has to do with tipping. Tipping in the United States and other countries is really different, okay? In the United States, when you go out to eat, you typically, depending on the type of restaurant, you're gonna tip between 12 and 22% maybe, depending on the restaurant. Fine dining, you know, your bill's a hundred bucks, you know, two people, you know, a couple drinks, you know, dinner, could be a hundred bucks. You're gonna tip 20% maybe. If the service was exceptional, you may tip a little more. It's up to you. It's up to you. If you're going to a, uh, not a fast food restaurant, but you know, a restaurant you can go in and get a, get a hamburger, get waited on, get a hamburger, get a beer, you know, 20 bucks a person, 25 bucks a person, Meal's pretty decent. The service was exceptional. The waiter, the waitress, they took real good care of you, okay? They give 22, 25%. The food wasn't, eh, it was fair. It was fair, but the service was good and you're full, your stomach's full. Now let's say you go to, they have these buffet restaurants here in the United States. I don't know if you have them in your country or not. You go in there, you get 20 bucks at the cashier. You go through this, the buffet and the grazing. You can have, eat all you want. They have steak, shrimp, lobster, salads, dessert bars. They got enough food to feed a third world country. Seriously, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so you get a plate, you go, you go sit down. A, a waitress or a waiter will come over and say, can I get you something to drink? Yeah, they bring you whatever you want to drink. Then you go up to the service bar where you know whether whether you want meat fish chicken salad and you start filling up your plate now remember now <laughs> this is all you can eat you don't have to fill your plate up over mounding because you can go back you can go back Some people don't think so. Anyways, beside the point, you get your food, she brings you a drink. Can I get you something else when you're done? You know, uh, do you tip? Well, sure, you're gonna tip. You're gonna tip. You know, she took care of you. She brought you your drinks. And that's about it. You know, maybe it's some extra napkins. You know, if you paid uh, 20 bucks a person, there was two of you, 40 bucks plus your drinks, you get 50 bucks. 
$50, okay? Give her $10, $12, that's fair. That's not bad. Sure. Sure. Now, this is what really, <laughs> this is what really sets me off. And I know some other people, it really, really upsets, upsets them as well. <clears throat> you go to a fast food restaurant, you walk up to the counter, you order, you give them the money, you stand there, they bring your food back in a bag, you get your drink. On the counter, there's a jar that says tip. Tip for what? Taking my money and bringing me my food? Or how about I write you a tip? <laughs> Tell you to get a haircut. Put on a clean shirt. That's a tip for you. Get a haircut and put on a clean shirt. You look like a slob. I'm not giving you any money. No. That's ridiculous. Ever since COVID, everybody wants a tip. Everybody wants a tip for something. I'll give you a tip. You're not getting a tip for me. <laughs> now, in your country, Spain, Italy, France, Germany, how do you do it? Do you tip or should I tip as a foreigner when I come to your country? Are you expecting me to tip you? Am I supposed to tip you? Well, if I would have read the book <laughs> and done some research, I would know that. I would know that. I didn't do my homework. So now you got to tell me. When I go to a fine restaurant in Spain, Italy, two people, $200. They waited on us hand and foot and they said, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Beautiful, you look nice. I mean, they, you know, they treat us like we were the second coming, okay? Very nice service. Do I tip them? It, we're used to tipping. I'm gonna tip. I, I, I don't know, it's, I just don't feel right not tipping. I don't know. Some countries you do. Uh, one thing that I didn't cover that in America at the restaurants, now the wait staff is having to share their tips with the people back in the kitchen. <laughs> Let me tell you how I feel about that. <laughs> the people back in the kitchen are making 15, 18, 20 dollars an hour. Okay? And the chef, if it's a chef a lot more or cook a lot more, but they're washing dishes and they're sous chef. They're making minimum $15 an hour. The wait staff up front, they're making $3 an hour. Maybe seven. That's just how it's set up in our country. They make their money from tips. Okay? That's why they really want to do a good job for you. All right, they want to turn those tables. All right, turn that table one hour in and out, in and out. Keep you happy. Now they want you, the wait staff, to share their money with the kitchen staff. I say, no, no. Do they want to share their $20 an hour that they're making with you? You're out front, you've got people that are acting like a fool, been drinking too much maybe, and they say, get me that, get me that, they're being rude. Do they want to come out and handle those people? No. It's your money, you keep it. Don't share your tip money. That's just how I feel. 
you may be required to. You may have to sign something, but eh, I'll slip you some money on the side you, you keep. Because you've earned it. You work hard for it. I'm not saying the folks in the kitchen don't work hard for it, but do they want to share their $20 an hour? No, they don't. So you don't need to share your tips. You tell your boss I said so. You tell him, call Uncle Billy. He says I don't have to. <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? I get excited sometimes. Share my tip. I'll share a tip with you. It's like that guy at the, at the fast food restaurant, the tip jar out front. You want me to share my tips with the kitchen staff? No. No. Not a snowball's chance. Don't do it. I'm sitting here and I'm looking at my notes over here. And I, I, I think I covered just about everything there is to cover on tipping. All right. I think I did. I think I covered everything. What I, what, one thing that I didn't cover that it's kind of out of the norm for some people, for most people maybe, 